Yeah. The immense importance of the, of the Sanders campaign is to mobilize, to keep mobilized, the tremendous numbers of people, young, old, all ages, who have, believe now in social change, who understand that making social change is not just about electing a president. It's about going issue by issue, grassroots by grassroots, and being organized every day of the week to fight for social change. We have this four-year ritual of electing a president. People think the whole world turns on that. It does not. What, t what the world turns on is grassroots organizing, people doing it day after day to fight nuclear power, to fight for jo social justice, women's rights, gay rights, uh, the environment, all the things that we know we need to survive and to thrive. That is a day-to-day -day operation every day of the week, uh, uh, 20, you know, uh, uh, every day of the year. And what I'm hoping, what we're all hoping, is that the Sanders campaign will convert into a major grassroots organization where everybody is um, uh, or, uh, educated and learns how to be community organizers and fights on community issues uh, in a tangible way. I got started as an activist in 1962. I was 15 years old. There was a roller rink downtown that was segregated. We went down there. This is in Columbus, Ohio in 1962. They wouldn't let black people in. We went there and picketed. We embarrassed the hell out of them. We got them in the newspaper. And we won. And, 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 you know, we didn't have to elect a president or change. Uh, we got no help from any government official. We just went out and fought. That's how we fought nuclear power in the, in the neighborhood where I lived, and, and we stopped them. Uh, there's a great story told by A.J. Musty. He was one of the great nonviolent organizers of our time. He was asked what it's like to be a full-time activist. He said, well, the pay's no good, but the work is steady. So, but the pay is actually great, because there's no greater feeling you can get than making social change. And I think that the, the, the millions, millions of young people who've come out from birding need to make that transition. They need to pick the two or three issues that really matter to them, social change, social justice, the environment, uh, uh, race. race, all the, uh, you know, uh, LGBT rights, uh, all, the, all the important things, things that are so important to people that we're winning on. They need to understand that it does not turn on electing a president, it turns on what they do every day. So we hope that the Sanders organization and the people around Bernie Sanders will set up a chain of universities or seminars or gatherings and conferences to get everybody who is so excited about this campaign for good reason to uh, become organizers on the issues that they really care about. I mean, I tell all my students, stop paying your student loans. Wouldn't that be amazing if all the students in the country stopped paying their student loans? The whole country would grind no halt and we'd have to wipe out the student debt. And, um, you know, things like this uh, people need to think about. We, and we need to, you know, we had the Eugene McCarthy campaign in 1968 against the war in Vietnam. It did not translate into an organized social movement. We had Occupy. It was fantastic, extremely powerful, but it kind of dispersed. We, it would be a tragedy if the uh, tremendous energies that have been mobilized around the Sanders campaign just disperse. What we want is a national chain of gathering seminars, um, um, you know, conferences, universities, free schools, to get people to understand that social activism and making social change, without which we cannot survive is a 24-7 job and whoever wins the White House you know even if Bernie won the White House he would still need this grassroots movements and that's what the corporations are terrified about and that's what we hope that the movement that's been ignited by Bernie Sanders will convert into some kind of grassroots national campaign to get us a real democratic process.